All right, I'm going to show you an awesome feature that you can use every day uh, to create the subfolders and files like uh, the one here in Hector Fernandez. You see it numbered, so it's consistent, it's always the same, and you can do it in about 10 seconds. Here I've created a folder called Sarah. As you can see, it's empty. Well, I got this little program, and the little program is uh, <clears throat> inside our template folder. So uh, you'll see it there. It's called Text to Folders. And then I've created how I want my folders to appear in this text document called Loan Folders. If we open the Loan Folders document, you'll see that I set it up already numbered and the way I want it to appear. Okay, so you can drag this program, little program, out to your desktop or just leave it inside there, but I put it here out into my desktop also. Um, but here I'm just going to execute it and you'll see how this works really quick. I get this little tiny uh, thing and it's going to tell me, well, where do you want to create it in this root folder? So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to navigate over to uh, our Dropbox where I've already created the Sarah folder. And um, there it is. I want to create it in there. And then the text file uh, that I want is also here. So I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to say, hey, I want to use the, the folders file. I just selected it. And I go create folders. Bam, it says it's done. Look what happens. Here's the, here is the, uh, Sarah, the Sarah thing. And now it's got the default folders instantly ready to be filled in. And it's uh, consistent and the same every time. So there it is. Do it.